In this example, we're looking at a binomial expansion, but we've got it happening to the power of n here, and there's an n sitting here. So this was quite a, a challenging problem, and we need a 9 or an 84x are our only clues. The 9's not going to help us much because that comes from 1 to any power times 3 squared, but the 84x will help us. The only way to get an x term is if we take the constant from this expansion and we multiply it by the x term of this expansion. Then we could also get the x term of that first expansion and multiply it by the constant of the second one. Nothing else will give us this x. That eventually will be 84x. So the 84 is the number we want. The constant term from 1 to any power is just 1. So that piece of this expansion is just 1. The x term here comes from expanding 3 plus nx. So 3 plus nx times 3 plus nx. Right? So you get 9 plus 6nx coming from 3nx's and 3 more. And then n squared x squared. Okay, so this is the one we want. So the x term is 6nx. All right, then we need to add the x term of this first thing. All right, so we don't know what that is, but 1 to any power will just be 1, so that's fine. And here you have 2 thirds x, and this needs to be a 1 because we need the x term from this. So then this is a 1 and this is n minus 1, times the constant from this, which is 9. And that will be the 84 that we're after. Here, a simple addition, 6nx, n choose 1 is n, 1 to any power is 1, 2 thirds x is our x term, and you have times by 9 from the constant of this second piece. Okay, So there are really two pieces, this piece and this piece. Okay. So now we can divide everything by, well, not really divide, but we can ignore the x because it's everywhere. So now you have 6n plus 2 thirds of 9 is 6n and that equals 84, all right? 2 thirds of 6, and the x's can be ignored because you, when you collect the like terms, we just really want to be comparing with this coefficient here. So now you have a simple linear equation, 12n equals 84. So divide both sides by 12, and you get n equals uh, 7, sorry, 7, right? Check it, 12, 7, good, 14, 84. Okay, so the real kicker here was you needed the constant from this expansion times the x term from the yellow binomial expansion. Then you needed to add the x term from this binomial. It was tricky because the n was the unknown. Times the constant from this, which was the 9. We had to do some side work here. And this was all on the non-calculator paper. So you also had to do a little bit of arithmetic with the fraction as well as some division there. Okay, hope this helps.